Seattle Mariners are set to kick off the 2023 season in Peoria in just a couple days, but that didn't prevent them from dropping a bombshell on us right before they left town. Okay, maybe not a bombshell, but Dylan Moore signed a three-year extension with the Seattle Mariners. Let's talk about it. On the surface, Dylan Moore doesn't seem like the type of player you would try to extend. I mean, just look at these numbers. They're not great, but it actually makes a tremendous amount of sense for the Seattle Mariners. Since Dylan Moore brings defensive versatility, plus speed, and some surprising on-base skills to the table, not to mention his ability to hit left-handed pitching, these numbers from 2022 really do speak for themselves. Dylan Moore was set to be a free agent in two years, so the Mariners didn't need to get this done. But they basically buy one year of free agency from the 30-year-old Dylan Moore, and it makes a lot of sense. Demo's role for 2023 appears to be pretty simple. It appears the Mariners will try very hard to keep him out of the outfield, where he's actually okay, but he'll be moving to second base primarily to platoon with Colton Wong, and that really is the best position for him. Also, Moore's ability to hit left-handed pitching makes him the natural partner for Colton Wong, who struggled against left-handed pitching. And Moore will likely get some at-bats for J.P. Crawford against left-handed pitching as well. Keeping Moore in the infield allows him to play his best positions, as you can see here. Dylan Moore's defensive versatility is a real asset to the Seattle Mariners, as is his speed. The Mariners do not have a lot of stolen base threats on their team currently, with Julio Rodriguez and Dylan Moore making up a vast majority of that ability. Limiting Moore's opportunities against right-handed pitching and allowing him to play the positions where he's most comfortable and facing the type of pitchers that he has the greater chance of success at is an efficient way to get the best out of Dylan Moore in 2023. Swing and miss is always going to be a part of Dylan Moore's game, and he's going to have to keep the walk rates high in order to maintain a good on-base percentage. But at just $3 million per year, the defense and base running alone make him worth his contract and his ability to hit left-handed pitching gives him a viable way to get 250 to 300 plate appearances and actually help you at the plate. So while this isn't an exciting move, it is a good one by Jerry Depoto, Justin Hollander, and the rest of the Mariners' front office. Dylan Moore is a valuable player who, when used properly, can really make an impact both on the field and at the plate. We'll have to see if Dylan Moore can cash in on this contract and this opportunity. He's certainly going to get opportunities, assuming that he is healthy come opening day. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this short little video. We wanted to do a podcast on this, Unlocked on Mariners, which if you guys aren't subscribed, you should go do that right now. But unfortunately, life got in the way. Ty decided that he needed to have a social life. And I guess I just like Dylan Moore more than he does. If you like this format of these shorter videos of the breakdown of of Mariner moves, uh, let me know. And I will certainly do more of these as we get closer to the season. But that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. It really helps out a ton. And we will see you later.